Hi everyone, and continuing with our work on phases, we need to establish some differences between V of t and V as a vector. So V of t is the instantaneous voltage represented in the time domain, hence it is a function of time, whereas V as a vector is the instantaneous voltage represented in the frequency domain. Furthermore, V of t is a time-dependent uh, variable, a uh, time-dependent equation, whereas V vector is not. And as a result of these uh, time domains and frequency domains, V of t is always real, however, our V vector can have an imaginary component. This is also applicable for our current, so we can replace the V of t with I of t. I of t will be the instantaneous current represented in the time domain, and I vector is the instantaneous voltage represented in the frequency domain. So now, a few, a few notes about our phasor analysis that we need to establish. First of all, a phasor analysis is only applicable when the frequency is constant. And second of all, the magnitudes that are used typically in our practical purposes are, are commonly the RMS values or the root mean square values. So therefore, we're just going to have to divide the magnitudes by root 2 to achieve our RMS values. Furthermore, there are some extra uh, analyses that are required from phasor analysis, namely the phasor relationship for certain circuit elements. So the first circuit element we'll be looking at is the resistor. So in the resistor, what we have for AC circuits is our current is equal to I M sine omega T plus phi, or basically our I is our I vector is equal to I M with an angle of phi. Using our Ohm's law, we have V is. Equal